It's a scientifically proven fact that Arakin Prota is one of the coolest drummers ever. So the other day I was sat on my toilet taking a shit whilst watching Six Six Samus and I came across this clip. What the? I'm not sure if I've seen a faster foot than that. That was awesome. And in today's video, I'm going to be trying to play exactly that. Welcome to Drummer Tries Playing Like Arik and Prosser. I think that's how you pronounce his name. So this drum beat is obviously quite bass drum heavy. And the reason I thought this would make for a good video is because my bass drum ability is still to this day the thing I struggle the most with. So in this video, I want to prove to you guys that with practice and dedication, you'll also be able to play the things you dream of. First things first, I need a double bass drum pedal. Oh look, I found one. So I got this double bass drum pedal for Christmas one year because I thought it was my way out of basically being really bad at single pedal. So yeah, I haven't used this in years. All right, so now I have the bass drum pedal set up. The first thing I need to do is learn how to play this extremely slowly. This is attempt number one at the first two bars. Bad at the double bass pedal. That was shit. Fuck! I just realised I should probably show you the bass drum as well. <sighs> so that was shit. Hello 33 subscribers, it is day two. Yes, I'm wearing the same clothes. So what I basically learned yesterday is that my left foot absolutely sucks. What Eric is playing on the bass drum is a combination of fast bass drum double strokes with one pedal, which I can do pretty well using the slide technique, but also a triple stroke using both feet and also the duh, 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 which I can't do very well. I think what I've basically done is underestimate what I can do with one foot and overestimate what I can do with two feet. So basically my right foot is okay, it's not too bad, but my left foot is absolutely awful. So today that's what I'm going to be practicing and working on as well as actually learning how to play it slowly like I said I did yesterday but got overexcited and didn't do. Okay, so first of all I've watched it a load of times and I think this is how it sounds slowly. All right, so now I've actually got the beat memorized. My biggest problem is the do 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 with both feet. I, there's probably a technical term for it, but I'm not a nerd, so I don't know what it is. But yeah, basically my biggest problem is my left foot's independence. I've never really used it before, so it's kind of like learning to write with your non-dominant hand. First thing I'm going to do is kind of like a call and response between the hands and the feet. So I'm going to play on the hands uh, using the snare drum and then try and replicate that on the double bass pedal. okay i can pretty much just i can do it slowly it's just when it speeds up i get a bit sloppy and shit so basically all i need to do is practice some more another practice that i'm doing is playing a normal beat for two bars and then just going duh, 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 for another two bars on the bass drum and keeping timing with the high uh with the ride cymbal with eighth notes like Eric is in the video so normal beat
it's not there yet. So I'm just going to keep practicing with those two exercises I just showed you and we'll see how it goes from there. My left foot just doesn't, my left foot just doesn't seem to want to hold a beat. It's really, um, it's just completely out of time. It's really, really sloppy and yeah, it's the thing that's holding me back at the moment. One thing that I haven't done yet, which is super important, is start practicing these drills with a metronome, which is what I'm going to start doing now and hopefully sort out my shitty left foot. End of day two attempt. Still sloppy and not fast enough. As you can see from yesterday, I can play it, but just really slowly and sloppily. Forgetting about the speed for a second, my biggest problem is still the left foot. It does not always play 100% in time with everything else. So today I'm going to be practicing the two bars normal beat and two bars duh, 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 as well as just playing the whole thing, but all whilst using a metronome to hopefully get my timings perfect before then trying to speed it up. Another thing to add, by the way, is that my knees and my legs ache so badly. First of all, this is a quick attempt at the full thing without a metronome. It's still shit. Two bars on, two bars off at 135 beats per minute. Now trying 140 beats per minute. I'm going to watch back in that clip. I'm pretty sure the left foot was sloppy again, but we'll see. It's literally one minute after I just said that on the last clip and I watched it back and it wasn't as sloppy as I thought. It still wasn't perfectly tight, but it was way better than I expected. So that was at 145 beats per minute and that seems like the perfect time to practice it at the moment as I'm not fully comfortable with it, but it's not totally sloppy and impossible to do. So what I'm going to work towards now is trying to play the whole thing at 145 beats per minute and get it as clean and as tight as possible. Oh, and by the way, real quick, if anyone is watching this and if anyone gives a shit, these back here, these are Vic Firth Buddy Rich signature sticks signed by Casey Cooper, addressed to me. Back in the day when I was a really chubby drummer, he was my favourite YouTube channel and I'd watch every single one of his drum covers and they'd really inspire me. Um, yeah, that's the end of this video. Right now I'm filming, I'm editing, and I'm uploading all from my phone and according to my calculations we're about to cross the 9 minute mark on this video. I'm already starting to get scared that when I click export, because the file is so big and my phone hasn't got the most memory, it will crash and I'll lose my whole video, which would suck really bad. So guys, I'm going to be splitting this. So guys, I'm going to be splitting this into two halves. This is the end of part one. Will I nail it? Does Eric beg me to be his drum teacher? Those are both questions that will be answered in part two, the final part, which will be uploaded on this very YouTube channel. Before I go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Please comment nice with a thumbs up emoji so everyone in the comments section who hasn't watched this will be very confused. And definitely go check Eric out. He's a great drummer and I'll leave all his links in the description below. <laughs>